All right, so today we're talking about is it a good time to buy a home in Southern California or should you wait for prices to drop? I'm Shane Inman with Remax Estate Properties and on this channel we talk about everything real estate, running, and community within the South Bay. Today's video, we're gonna be going over, is it a good time to buy a home or should you be waiting for prices to drop? So my goal today is to bring you a few reasons why it might be a good time for you to purchase a home in Southern California and bring you a few reasons why it might be a good time for you to wait and just let you determine if the time is right to purchase or you should wait and uh, purchase your dream home later on in the future. So the first thing I wanted to go over is that if you have saved for a down payment and you have figured out your mortgage payment that fits into your budget and it's in an area that you can find homes that you'd like to purchase in, then it's the right time to buy. You shouldn't be waiting for a price to go down on a home that you can already afford and can get at a great interest rate because as interest rates go up, you may end up having to pay a higher mortgage payment even if you can get it for a lower price. So if you have the down payment saved and you have a mortgage figured out that you can afford for your budget, then now is the time to purchase. So everything we talk about in the rest of this video is more geared towards uh, different situations other than you're 100% ready to go and purchase today. So for really the last probably two years, I've had multiple clients tell me that they think they're gonna wait and purchase when prices go down. Well, the problem with that is there's no guarantee that home prices will go down. Uh, you can try to time it, but unfortunately, if you do wait and interest rates go up, then you could end up paying the same price for the same property, even though the list price went down. So uh, it's one thing to think about when you are searching for a home is not necessarily is it the right price for, am I getting a good deal, but is it the right price for me and my so the first reason I thought we'd go over of why it's a good time to purchase is because interest rates are at an all-time low. So with interest rates being at an all-time low, you can have a higher buying power than you could if the interest rates were higher. So let's say the home prices do dip down um, later on, then uh, if interest rates go up at the same time, you could end up paying the same uh, mortgage uh, amount for the same home even though it's a lower list price. The next reason that I think people are seeing now as a good time to purchase a home or move is because they're able to work from home and maybe that home that they're in right now isn't as big as they had uh, seen it as before because now they're in it all day long working from home um, and maybe now their job will allow them to work remotely because they can see the benefit of having their team work from home and less overhead costs so they're able to not have to make a commute into a big city so if that's your situation that could be a good opportunity to move as well so another big reason that now could be a good opportunity to purchase a home is the time of year. Typically going into the summertime is the most competitive time to purchase a home because everyone wants to get into the school district for their children and so they're trying to get all settled in through the summer. So the summer months are the most competitive. So going into the fall like we are right now and into the holidays, things start to slow down. People say, you know what, I'm gonna focus on getting a home after the new year, um, just gonna get through the holidays, we've got a lot going on, we're traveling, different things, and so a lot of people back away from uh, purchasing a home during the fall and winter months, so uh, if now is right for you financially, it could be an opportunity to come up against a little less competition. It is still very competitive out there, um, but at the same time, if you are ready and looking, the fall could be a good opportunity to go up against a little less uh, competition competition and less bidding wars. Another reason that you might be looking to purchase a home over renting if you're currently renting is if your lease is coming up, um, although 
uh, landlords currently are not able to raise their rent prices on current tenants. If you're not happy of where you're at and you're thinking you want to move to a bigger home um, and you're thinking you want to continue to rent, you may be up against a lot of competition and more higher rent prices. So I'm seeing a lot of uh, rent prices go up with each new listing because there's so much competition out there. Even for renting, they're getting six or seven or eight uh, other applicants with very good credit reports and financial backgrounds and you're going up against a lot of competition and so landlords know that and they want to take advantage of raising that rent and so you could be getting to a point where the difference in your mortgage payment and your difference in your rent could be very minimal it's just a matter of saving for that down payment to be able to afford a new home Another reason this might be a good time to purchase a home is if you have a dog or are looking to get a dog because I'm um, noticing more and more landlords are either saying that no pets or they're having a pet deposit that um, could be quite pricey or they are um, having pets are allowed but the rental price is much higher than anything else on the market so having an animal and trying to rent can be difficult and on top of that you're, you probably aren't getting much of a yard with a apartment so if you have a dog and that's a big part of your life then you can and you can afford your mortgage and down payment then that could be a good reason to purchase a home as well. All right, so let's look at some of the reasons you might want to wait to purchase a home. It's very difficult to time the market and figure out if it's gonna be a good uh, deal or not. So it's really important to just see if you are financially ready at that moment as opposed to trying to get the best deal on the market. So one of the big fueling points behind uh, price drops is uh, demand and inventory and currently there is a high demand and a low inventory so that's actually going to make prices rise and the only thing that's going to make the home prices drop again is if more inventory comes in the market or if people cannot afford their homes and they go into foreclosure which would also create more inventory on the market but at a lower price and so the big thing that people are thinking the people that are thinking there's going to be a bubble that bursts are thinking that there's going to be a lot of home foreclosures and the reason there may not be as many home foreclosures as people think is that homeowners have built up equity in their homes and so according to statista.com in 2020 there was homeowners had over 65 percent of their equity in their home and so by having that amount of equity they're not going to need to foreclose on their home they may be wanting to sell if they uh, decided that the necessity for uh, their situation but um, it's not going to be a huge shock to the market with more inventory hitting, but it could be slowly more homes hitting the market, and as more homes hit the market, um, that's going to give a little bit more supply, and it might even out the demand, which might make prices not be um, competitive bidding wars. The only problem with that is that if inventory goes up, and at that same moment, uh, and interest rates go up as well, you could end up being paying the same mortgage price for the same home. Another big reason to wait on purchasing a home is if you do not currently have your down payment and closing costs prepared. And so um, depending on how you save and how long it takes you to save, uh, that really is the key to um, being able to purchase that home. And one thing to think about within that is that, you know, I've had clients that it took six to eight months, sometimes even up to a year to find the home that they were looking for and the price they were looking for and went out on that option. So just because you may not be prepared with the down payment funds right now, doesn't mean you can't uh, start getting yourself prepared and figuring out everything you need. So to sum it all up, there's really not a perfect time to buy, it's just when it's the right time for you. And that means, are you financially prepared? Is 
the market at a price that you can afford? Is the mortgage payment something you can financially afford? Is it in an area that you want to be living in and is it the right uh, number of uh, bedrooms and bathrooms and everything in your criteria um, for the price that you're looking for? So it's really a, is it a right time for me right now as opposed to is the market or the right time to purchase right now so if you're trying to time the market you may never purchase a home if you're trying to get yourself together in a position that you're ready to put your best foot forward and get the home of your dreams then that could be next month or that could be three years from now it's a slow process if you're not uh, financially ready with a down payment and then it's a little bit faster if you've got the down payment and your criteria is already figured out and you're ready to start putting in offers so best thing you can do is start studying up get your finances in order and just figure out when the time is right for you and your family if you have any questions or comments on this topic as far as is it a good time to purchase in home in Southern California or if you should wait, I would love to hear them. So feel free to comment uh, down below and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks.